everyone. So today I am at opening night of Halloween Horror Nights and I'm so excited to be here. This is the Nettlewood Cemetery Scare Zone and it's so spooky with all the fog. And I did come here pretty early so there's not too many people in this scare zone so I'm very happy about that. Um, get some really cool photos and videos. I'm so impressed with everything about this scare zone. It looks absolutely amazing. It's incredible. Ooh, this guy is super spooky. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this so much. Oh, this is amazing. I love all the fog. I miss the fog smell. Oh my gosh. I really am like wanting a fog candle, to be honest. I'm loving the scare zone so much. I keep saying that, but I can't get over it. <laughs> and here is Mel's Die In instead of Drive In. They do convert it over for Halloween Horror Nights every year to make it the Die In. Super cute. Kind of like a 50s diner theme. This is one of the food booths near Gramercy Park. There's actually two food booths here. This one has no chance in hell PB and J, fried twinkies, and fried Oreos. Over here behind it, there's another drink booth. And here we are at the Good Guys Treats Chucky Food Booth. Very spooky. And this is the bar in San Francisco. It's kind of behind the Lombard's Grill and Restaurant. A little quiet space back here to hang out. Ooh, and this is the Conjure the Dark Scare Zone. I love this. This is amazing. It's like witch vibes over here. They do have a show. I'm not sure how often they do perform, but there is a show on the stage and it's incredible. I love all the skulls and the cauldron and the theming of this. And here's the sorceress doing her thing. Oh, I'm loving this so much. This is my second favorite, I think, so far. Some more scare actors. Very scary. Again, with the fog. Love all the fog this year. I've missed it so much. Ooh, here's this guy. And here is the map this year. They are around several spots in the park, telling you where all the houses are. And here we are at the drink booth right in front of the Starbucks coffee. And they do have some specialty beverages like electric death and cool juice. And here we are at the Sweet Revenge Scare Zone. Very excited for this one too. I know it's like very classic Halloween themed. Here's some pumpkins. There are two big floats that sit in the middle of the road. Very colorful. And here we are at the Meats Locker. They have some snack options. This Raspberry Rice Krispie Treat and this Gummy Heart, among a few others. Lots of really cool scare actors on this street. This little robot. Love this one. And this road is so cool. I think it's incredible. Oh my gosh. This float has three witches on it, one in the front, two in the back. And there's some skulls and this poison apple book. And this clown on this bike, very interesting. And this one is my favorite. This is so creepy, so spooky. And here's this couple, they both have their heads chopped off. Um, this guy has a pitchfork in his head, which is definitely not good. more scare actors. I just love the theming of this so much. Honestly, all the scare zones, I can't even compare them because they're all so perfect this year. Here's a tribute store, so cute. And this girl is my favorite. I love her. She is killing it out here. Very, very cool. I love this. 
judges booth with Mayor Sweets. And this is the Major Sweets candy booth with this deadly bar and some very questionable candy. I would not eat the candy if I were you. Seems pretty sketchy. And this guy that ran into the booth with his tractor during the parade, he does not look too well right now. This is definitely very spooky. He does not look okay. <laughs> and this is the next float. This is on the front of the street, right front of the tribute store. And here's this guy, poor guy, laying down here. More of the witches, the front view of them. Here's the poison apple book. And here we are a little bit later. I actually came back to this zone, oh my gosh, so scary. When it got a little bit darker out. They have probably twice as many characters out now, which I love. And, oh my gosh. <laughs> And here's the robot again and the cat. Um, I think definitely coming out here at nighttime is a little bit better for the experience just because there's way more scare actors. And it's, I mean, it's amazing at end of the daytime too, but it's a little bit busier now. So we want to thank the mayor and here's for lifting the theater the from judges the room again. and bringing Ooh, it into pumpkin the lady. future of the 1950s. Go in and check out the updates. What are you kids doing? Looks like some chaos is happening over here. Here's Spirit of the Coven, 35 minute wait. This house is the first house I did during the preview and opening night. I would say it's about an average house. It, it's okay. Here's some devil horn you can buy. And here is the Frankenstein popcorn bucket, it's so cute. And this is Hobot Horror, the haunted house right next to the entrance of the park. This one is at the top of my list. I know some people don't like it, but I love it. I think it's super scary, lots of jump scares. It is like the prisoner's theme, and usually it's not super high wait time. Here's a pumpkin lord. All hail the pumpkin lord. He is so great. I always have to watch him whenever I come in or leave the park. Horrors of Halloween scares them right at the front of the park. And here is the sign all lit up with all the pumpkins. Some really amazing scare actors over here. Thanks for watching my opening night of Halloween Horror Nights. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please follow my socials and subscribe.